Hey everyone, what's up? I'm Seth Newman with the Spartan Scoop. Last weekend, Michigan State was able to beat rival Michigan for a fifth straight game. That's the second longest win streak over Michigan in Tom Izzo's career. But of course, our pregame host Dalton Shetler had to steal all the attention after the game and proposed to his longtime girlfriend. He told me his plan, so I came to the game prepared. To everyone's surprise, though, she said yes, so I guess my time and effort spent making this sign was wasted. Congrats, Dalton. He's getting married. What? <laughs> <laughs> what an idiot! Oh, what a loser! Good! Good! More for me and you. Okay, so let's get into some really big news. It was signing day this week as Michigan State signed 27 recruits for the 2017 class. This year's press conference was a little bit different. Usually when recruits select a school, they wear that school's hat during the announcement. Well, Mark D'Antonio played off that and wore a hat representing each of the recruits' high schools that they went to. Take a look. So what did Coach say about the recruits, and who are the recruits that might see playing time right away? Mark D'Antonio mentioned four incoming recruits that has a chance to play right away. Our defensive line starts with Jacob Panasuk from uh, Lake Park West. He's a three-year starter for Coach Roll up there. Um, obviously, we've got Mike here, so it's always great when you have a guy that um, – I think it's a statement when you have one – young man from that family playing and they make a decision as a family that, that that next guy in line will come here as well. Extremely highly recruited guy, um, really can transition speed to power. Um, big guy, you know, 265 pounds right now, could be 280 by the time he walks in here. Um, could play defensive end. I think he'll be an impact guy for us. I think he'll be a guy that can get on the field for us. Extremely gifted with his hands and his feet. Plays with a, with a high motor. We'll start with our linebackers. Antoine Simmons from Pioneer, from Pioneer High School. I guess I should have tried these out beforehand. Um, from Pioneer High School, a uh, four-star outside backer. was also a tailback for them. And uh, in the ESPN 300, 294 for what that, what that gets you. Okay. Ready the number one outside linebacker in the state of Michigan, dream team guy. Uh, 73 tackles, two interceptions. Highlight film just goes on and on and on. Tremendous person, works with special needs kids in Pioneer High School, actually works in a classroom setting, um, plans to major in special education here. And I think he'll be a dynamic leader, not just player, but a dynamic leader for us. Tight end Matt Dotson from Cincinnati Moeller. And again, Matt was one of our higher recruited players, I feel. Um, probably could have went to school Anywhere in America, outstanding tight end. I've watched him uh, in person catch balls um, in practice and workouts and things of that nature. Uh, very dynamic pass catcher. Great ability with, for, for a guy that's six foot five and 235 pounds to come under control and make uh, difficult catches. I think you see that on his highlight film. And again, he's a guy that you could have probably picked a lot of other, a lot of other players that go along with his five plays. But uh, makes plays down the field. He's the sixth guy we've had from Cincinnati Moeller over the course of time here that since we've been here. So that program has been very, very good to us. So, and uh, got to make the hat bigger sometimes. Great body control. What you see in Hunter is a guy that uh, he was offered one of the first guys come, to be offered coming out of our camp uh, two years ago. So obviously he's a legacy here with, uh, we'll get it on. Don't worry. Uh, he's obviously a legacy here with, um, with his father having played here. But uh, you make your own way. You make your own way as a young person. He came here, has great hands, uh, very, very, I guess I use the word crisp, but crisp route runner. Um, it's a guy that, that um, has a great uh, motor, very enthusiastic, um, played defense as well. 
a great body control, the ability to catch the ball down the field in traffic. When you watch his highlight film, there's catch after catch. And when you watch him on, at camp, you just see a, a great football player that can catch the ball and get vertical very, very quickly. Why don't we hear from one of those recruits? Hunter Risen, son of former Spartan star Andre Risen, spoke to the media this week. Take a look. You know, some say it's pressure. And, I mean, it couldn't be, but, you know, you just... You just got to stay level-headed and just know that your work ethic, and he, he always told me your work ethic you know, will speak for itself. So that's all I'm taking into it. Just work hard and, you know, my game will speak for itself. Okay, let's hit the home stretch. Anyone who knows me knows that I love video games. So when I saw a Tech Mobile remake of Michigan State's touchdown return against Michigan this week on Twitter, I knew that had to be the coolest thing that I was going to see this week. Check it out right here. Bad snap, bobble, oh, scooped oh. up. Here come the Spartans down the sideline, oh, racing into the end zone. Me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding racing me? Racing into the oh end zone God. is Jalen oh Watts, Jackson, touchdown, MSU. Touchdown. Folks, no flags. The no Spartans flags. Oh my God. piling on each other in the end zone. It's over. That will never get old. But hey, Spartan fans, I want to hear from you. What did you think of Michigan State's signing day? Who are you most excited about, and who do you think will have the best career? Comment and share this video to get the conversation going. For Spartan Sports Network, I'm Seth Newman. Later.